hey guys welcome to the channel so today we are playing phobia sent in fina hotel now guys i had no idea that there was a game out there with such a name so i was just browsing through some random youtube videos regarding a good scary game and i happened to come across this one now the thing which i liked in the one minute gameplay which i saw was that uh, the main character is confined in this hotel and everything is happening in this hotel so yeah games like this where you know we are confined in a particular space I kind of like them so that's why I just purchased this and the game released last week so it's kind of brand new still. So you know what guys we are gonna play it and let's see if the game is actually scary or not. So I have already changed all these settings and put them to max. So yeah guys without wasting any more time let's head straight into it. New game. Aiming assistance. So I have to be honest I have no idea regarding uh, much of gameplay. So. I wasn't even sure that we could, you know, aim in this game. So it looks like we can aim assistance. I don't think we need all that ammo assistance. Turns the ammo assistant on, adds ammunition and boss fights according to player's needs. Okay. Show objectives. Okay, yeah. I think we can, you know, show objectives. Why not? Continue. All right, guys. I'm pretty excited, you know what? Okay, guys. Let's see if this game is actually scary or not because most of the times they are not that scary okay so okay already we had some frame drops so guys it actually started the way that silent hill playable demo starts in a room right okay so looks like we are in a jail not really sure if we are still in denfina hotel metal key who left it here take return okay take Cora. Not really sure what that. Okay, Cora means run. Okay. We're gonna take that note and. Uh, how to use an item? Okay. I mean, it's like the normal, you know. Okay. It's like the normal Resident Evil type of inventory, guys. Okay, not really sure if our character is actually a criminal or not. Okay. Okay. So, before we go ahead. Okay, so objective is find the notebook. All right. Documents, inventory. Okay, we can navigate from here back. Cool. Dear member of the sacred trial, the new guinea pigs are ready for testing. The procedures will begin immediately. The sacred trials counts on your collaboration for the proper registration of the patients to the principle of free will. Devi manages whatever that is. Okay, guys, so looks like uh, there is some cult shit going on here and we are like one of the guinea pigs that they have captured. Cell 2. Cell 4. Cell 5. And Cell 6. Okay, all these actually go inside our inventory, huh? I think we might have to drop them more of the items. Okay. Old notebook. What to expect of the future. Okay, that's the title of that book. 
Okay. This morning we discovered this individual hiding in service closet. He attempted to fight back, but we were able to subdue him. This is the first time anyone outside the sacred trial has managed to infiltrate our facility to this extent. He will remain in this. Okay, maybe this is who we are, right? Okay, so hotel location is Hotel San Denfina. So we are already in this hotel. And looks like we were infiltrating this hotel. Just like, you know, the Outlast games, not the Outlast. Yeah. The first outlast, correct. He will remain in the holding cells along with the traitors. Soon we will begin the interrogation process. We need to find out what he knows. We confiscated a notebook from the spy according to the information they are in. He is a reporter and a private investigator. He has been hiding amongst us for some time now and he has gathered far too much information about the sacred trial to be left alive. After consulting with our superiors, the man is to be eliminated and the notebook destroyed. Okay, so the last update is after three days of the second one. The prisoner is still unconscious. We will we are delivering food to his cell and awaiting further instructions. Okay, so it looks like this is who we are. Zhao Lewis, I think. Okay, yeah, guys. So we are a reporter and a private investigator from the looks of it. And the time we are in is 1960. We can actually zoom. Okay. Back. Okay. Let us left, you know, leave it on. So before we go any further, looks like we can open all these cells, right? Okay. We don't really have any torch or something, so not really sure if we can see everything. Okay. Control is for crouch. Good to know. This should be cell 5, I think. Okay. I think this is where we actually have to go. But before we go there, may as well, you know, open all the cell and let's see. Okay, we don't have. Okay, key to cell number three. We do have for two. Okay, nothing to interact with here. I'm not, and I'm not really sure where is cell number four. One, two, three. Okay, this one is four. So far, so, you know, I think we actually skipped it. All right, looks like there is something there, right? Yeah. Okay. Not really sure. Maybe we need to find some brick to open a secret door. Okay. And we cannot open this one. Okay. And don't tell me we can hide here. Okay. Good thing, guys, that we are not actually hiding. So, yeah, I mean, we won't be checking each and every closet, you know. But since we are just starting, we may as well just check it here. Okay, there is nothing over there, so... Have we not found his notebook yet? Okay, this is not his notebook. <sighs> I 
I mean, we have already checked all this stuff, but the notebook has to be over here, right? Yeah. I have no idea how we missed it the first time, but okay. Maybe inside. Okay, okay, guys. So this is where we can hide our notebook. Yeah. Let's hide our notebook over here. <laughs> I have no idea why someone would come inside a jail cell when we have already been captured and, you know, for infiltrating that place in the first place, right? What the fuck? Oh, guys. Fuck. Just run. Bitch, run. Can we close the door? No, we cannot close the door, bitch. Run. Guys, I hate chasing scenes where people chase us. Can we do something? Fucking hell. Okay. Bitch. We are not surviving that, guys. <laughs> we are definitely not surviving that. Okay, so yeah. I think that was the prologue, right? Yep. Okay, guys. So, I'm already not liking that we are getting chased by uh, Mr. X of a character. It looks like a combination of Mr. X from Resident Evil and uh, Big Daddy from Bioshock, to be honest. And this looks like the start of uh, Resident Evil 7. <laughs> but we are in a night time here. And Ethan there was going in a daytime, right? Trees, Trezzy, Trillhurst. I'm not really sure, guys, which language they have written the notes and, you know, all these uh, boats in. Okay, Hotel Santa Delfina. Mm -hmm. Okay, so looks like now we are a brand new character. I think, I mean, obviously that character is dead. And looks like uh, since it was raining and we were traveling somewhere, we have decided to you know, stay this night in this hotel. Hmm. I mean, this looks good. There are a few frame drops. I might have to, you know, put the settings a bit down. But for now, we are just going to continue in this one. Okay. Oh, okay. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Come, it's no problem. We just got here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Always running off somewhere. Right. So, uh, let's wait here or. No, 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 no. I can take it from here. How does the old saying go? If you want something done right, do it, do it yourself. Let's see. Ah, here you are. 
Okay, so we already had booking in this hotel. So guys, what kind of stupid journalist is this? So we are actually, you know, tracking some missing person in this hotel. And we straight out said that we are the journalist. And, you know, no, <laughs> no employee of the hotel is going to help us if we straight out just say that we are a journalist looking to investigate the missing persons, uh, you know, in your hotel. Metal key, all right. I mean, the character doesn't look that good to be honest, but you know, it's fine. So, it looks like we have to go that side. But before we do that, okay, we cannot really go to that side of the reception from over here, and neither can we read any of these documents. So, yep, we may as well just continue. Okay. I mean, it looks okay, but the thing is that, guys, this is an open space, and I'm sure that we are going to be chased across this hall. Okay, so we cannot really go here. The animations on walking up and down these stairs are very slow. So objective is go to the elevator in block B. And uh, I don't really think that we have a map in this game. So, yep. Okay, this is log. Yep, so block B is this and elevator. Not really sure guys in which language they call elevator elevator. Maybe max again. Okay, is this this one? No. Okay, here it is, I think. Yep. Alrighty. 610. So guys, have you, if you have watched the movie, I think it was uh, 44B or something in which the, you know, everything happens inside a room, right? The room becomes alive and uh, whoever stays in that room, by the time... Yeah, so by the time, you know, people stay the night, uh, by the morning, they are actually dead. Okay, so the voice acting in the game is not that great, to be honest. You know, I'm not really feeling that our character is actually scared and or surprised to see something. You know, a black hole appearing in his bathroom. But okay. The hotel. Okay, so it's a 
you know next chapter so one week has passed since we have been in the hotel okay so not really sure if we are still in the same time or did we just you know went in the past through that hole okay just like resident evil guys so it looks like our character has no you know find a way out of the room okay so it looks like this is the exit door i thought that that was bathroom okay so that is actually indeed bathroom then okay so we need a key for bathroom also okay the time is 12:18 Okay, I forgot to read that. We should have read that, guys. Okay, just a second. Documents. Yeah, I'm not really sure which language this is. I think Mexican, but Roberto before you leave i left some items that might help you inside okay roberto so this letter was intended you know written for our character inside the envelope you will find a pocket watch whenever you find a wall clock use the pocket watch to synchronize the times if i'm right this should create a bridge to that point in time allowing you to return there if you ever need to also i found a special camera lens in my travels that should allow you to connect to different realities to different points in time you can use it to see things no one else can see i hope we finally get to see each other soon love e not really sure who this character is but he has already done a great deal of he has already done a lot of you know research regarding all the cameras and watch okay so before we i think we have to you know use our pocket watch to synchronize our time with this so that door opens but before we do that let's just you know explore this entire room once before we go outside it is discharged of course it is discharged pharmaceutical use okay so these are bandages and what is this metal object mysterious object found in the hotel okay so it looks like this is you know it will be part of a puzzle or something i can see 4 6 and 2 we're going to take that and let's synchronize our time so this okay guys this is actually for saving the game okay yep overwrite it back so we cannot really you know go out from here Good afternoon Stephanie how are you my name is Roberto we spoke through that RSI forum as I explained there before I am a recently graduated journalist okay so we are actually pretty young and I was very interested in the proposal you mentioned regarding an investigation of crazy trials 
and investigate investigative journalism is precisely what i intend to pursue in my career and i believe this will be an excellent starting point i look forward to hearing from you with more information i am at your disposal sincerely roberto al lopez from stephanie hi roberto i am doing well thank you i am happy to that you are interested in the story for as long as i can remember strange things have been happening around here and it's been driving more and more people away from the town it's really a shame it truly is a wonderful wonderful place I'll send you a link with all the reports we have so far and I ask that you read everything carefully before accepting the job. It is extremely important to us that you feel strongly that you f- that you feel strongly about coming here to investigate what go- what's going on. That said, I have no doubts that your coming here will be great opportunity for your career. The greater the challenge, the greater the reward, right? I'm looking forward to hearing from you. All the best, Stephanie. but i just felt like i had to contact you as soon as possible i had spent the entire night reading over the reports and documents you sent they are amazing the mysterious sounds the disappearances of the objects and people this really is some intriguing stuff all of this information has only made me more eager to pack my bags and had to head down to crazy trails to f- see it for myself you can count me on for sure great news we'll be eagerly waiting for your arrival you can probably get a very cheap flight to uh, sometime between this month weekends are always more expensive you know in terms of lodging i recommend you stay at the saint denfina hotel the location is perfect and the rates are pretty good i have a strong contact there just send an email to saying that stephanie requested a room let us know once you arrive at the hotel so we can meet so guys if i have to make a guess here I think Stephanie might be, you know, in cahoots with these hotel guys and with all the disappearances that is happening in this place and uh, our Roberto is like another guinea pig that they want for their trials maybe. His Stephanie and did up over sleeping quite a bit after staying up so late. I went ahead and emailed your contact at the hotel and bought my platinum from the hotel said check in any time seems like everything is squared away now as soon as I arrive sent in fina will let you know thank you so much for the opportunity. Okay so Stephanie has actually you know stopped replying him is everything all right I have tried reaching out via a phone are you still on board with the investigation when i was booking the room your contact here at the hotel did say that you sometimes go days without communication because of your work but it's been a few days and i don't have much longer before my flight out if you can get back to me okay so she is not you know really responding figure i should let you know that mentioning my origin really means every time i gas mask gold seems to be completely unrelated to everything else it would have been very nice to have some help packing my bags tonight and heading back tomorrow morning you will have to find someone else to help you on a story on crazy trials okay so we are actually you know leaving now Okay. Guys. So, I think it's 462. That's what uh, you know, that weird metal object was for. 462. Confirm. Okay, bathroom key. Cool. like i have never seen a hotel room where we need a key to open a bathroom right okay so we cannot really close the door once we have opened them which i don't really like because you know you should be able to close doors like any horror games okay Let's 
six white shirts, two black pants, alarm clocks, shaver, toothbrush, six underpants, six pairs of black socks, three ties, camera lens, shoes. Alright, safe password 37251. Okay, I'm not really sure if the safe is here or... Okay, we cannot really open that yet. Okay, camera lens. Pharmaceutical use. Okay, maybe I think we can combine them. Select, combine. Okay, we need tape and, uh, you know, that cotton gaze or whatever it is called to make bandages. It recovers 25 life points. Okay. Cool. Girl murdered by her own mother. The investigations about the case of the gas girl, as Soraya Reyes was known, reached a new development this week. It was verified that the leak, which until this point has been reported as an accident, was a deliberate act. The investigations point to her parents as the main suspects. In an interview, Soraya's mother said, It is absurd what they were doing to us. When they said, when they said it was not an accident. We expect answers, not accusations. My husband and I are afraid. We believe that whoever killed Soraya had even worse intentions. We are sure that whoever it was wanted to kill us as well. But luckily we were out of the house. Soraya was just a child. What kind of monster would have the courage to kill a child? The deputy in charge of the case has forbidden the family to leave the city and their and they are under protection of the local police about the case. On the night of September 10th, Soraya Reyes' parents arrived home and when they opened the door, the ex they experienced a strong odor of gas. Reyes' fa father called out for the girl, but no answer came. In desperation, he turned off the main power switch and closed the external gas valve. He called the fire department, which arrived on the scene and found Soraya's body. Her parent had already gone to the pharmacy to buy medicines for a headache, and the girl had fallen, fallen asleep. Every moment, I regret not waking her up to take us with us. I should have woken her up, but she is still sleeping like a little angel. When we came back, everything had already happened. The funeral took place on the 12th. Forensics did an analysis in the house to find the reason for the leak but the results remain inconclusive the crime remains unsolved okay guys come on man it was here all along so from what I remember, it was 37251. Okay, yep. And we have got entire camera. Now we can combine with this. And what we can do is uh, equip it. Okay, we can actually equip it over here. Okay, guys. Cool, this is cool. Hey guys, sorry about that. Had some call. So I think we have to do something in the bathroom, right? Yep. Yeah, this is where we saw that black hole. Okay. What the fuck? Which what the fuck is that? Hmm. 
Okay guys, so I think we actually came back in time or something. Or was that it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not really sold on the game just yet. Okay, so let's use our camera here. Okay, we cannot really, you know, do anything there. Okay, so the door is open. Is there someone standing there with a weapon? Or is that just a statue? I mean, somebody was peeking from there. That was, you know, that's pretty much clear. So I'm not really sure. Objective updated find out what happened to the hotel okay so the hotel has gone batshit crazy okay so we need a special key over here we don't really have that note it is important to know how to use bandages properly. I suggest that everyone always have some gauge and adhesive plaster nearby so that you can combine them. This helps a lot if you need simple bandages. If you can find some alcohol, add it to simple bandages to increase their effectiveness for now. That is all we can do until help arrives. Okay. And we got more slots, which is good. Okay, guys. It looks like statue in the ballroom. Okay, so I think we actually came back in time. Fibonacci and the elegance of mathematics. A camera connector. I think it is asking us to, you know, use that camera to connect with that. Okay. Holy shit, guys. So we can actually, you know, pass through it using the camera. Okay, and we can actually even go past that fire with this camera right yep but before we do that okay nothing over here okay the fire act the fire is actually still here small key key of a drawer okay before I think what the fuck I mean that was just a kid but still that bitch scared me Okay, looks like we can even use our camera over here. But before we do that, I want to use the key that we got for on this onto this drawer. Use. Okay, we got. Map of the sixth floor. Okay. I don't really want to turn guys okay nobody's here so
okay i'm not really sure where we are but i think it is trying to give us uh, some clues right 608 key is here 606 key we have to find or something yeah okay okay and that i think that red one is for flames so here we have flames so we cannot directly go there right yep I should have taken a screenshot for th of that map, but let's just freeze on the wall. It's not just a camera. Okay. So we got the draw key from this. So I think this is logged, but we have the key for 606. Uh, we had the key for 608, right? Yep. Press control to crawl. Okay. Fuck. So I see some handprints over here. So I think that means we have to use our camera. But before we do that. Okay, we need some kind of key there. Metal key 606. I mean, you know, we can also use our camera for its night view because uh, some of the things, some of the areas are pretty dark in this game. So this is 606. Yeah, this was actually 606. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we are outside 606 here. And now we should, you know, we have one more key near the elevator and I think we can go in these rooms maybe. Hmm. Let's try guys, let's try. Okay, press Q to read notes. We already know all that. I tried my best to get out with everyone else, but I ended up getting stuck up here. One of the security guards who stayed behind gave us gave me the password to this gate at six seven three five two. Whole lot of good. Whole lot of good that did for me, considering he failed to mention that uh, you need a key card to even put the damn code in. I'll find. I will have to find my own way down to the others. I'm not dying here. I won't. 67352. And we also need a key card. Can we use our camera to get past this? No. I mean, it kind of looks like a combination of bios. Fucking hell, bitch.
Okay. Fucking piece of shit. I mean, he's just a fucking kid. Man, fuck that bitch. I mean, that was not scary, guys. <laughs> that was kind of comedic. So, we need to bolt cutters over here and uh, let's see. So, this is what 604 so we are currently over here i think it is asking us to go take the stairs and go up top or go down okay there are some Big frame drops. <sighs> okay, so I think we need some kind of weapon to go there, right? I don't think guys there is anything in all these drawers and I'm not gonna open all of them and I see some cockroaches sound okay they are like spiders right it kind of feels like uh, we are in a you know in a cruise ship and it is sinking with all these noises. Red card it belongs to the hotel. So we already had the car, you know, have the card and we have the code also. For security reasons, different card readers were installed for access to the restricted areas of the hotel. This new installation is mainly for the safety of all employees. Each card will each card will open only the panel of its respective color. In addition to the card. Uh, password must be must also be entered thank you for understanding management okay so this needs a blue card I mean it needs a key not really sure what is WC welcome She is Stephanie. No, that's not possible. There's no way. How are you still here? Why have I killed you? Wait, Stephanie? Is that you? Does he does does that person live here? Does who know about what? And what do you mean it's been over a year? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, guys, it got a bit interesting. So it looks like we are, you know, on some top floors and we have to go down to the first floor. Now, the thing is that it's been already a year since we have, you know, 
since we are since we have been in this hotel now i'm not really sure like it's actually been a one whole year or we just you know came forward in time instead of going back so i think this is ground floor no not really sure what this is anyways so yeah as i was saying i think instead of going back in time we actually came in the future and that's how you know one year has passed okay two more slots great guys Okay, nothing over here. What the fuck is that? Fucking bitch. <laughs> Guys, scripted shit. Okay. So I think uh, all these red doors means that we need it either means that they are locked or it means that we need the red cards to open them 604 is what this one right but i think uh, red means they are locked not red card let's try for 603 602 and other doors over here before we go down 600 it's locked this is 601. Okay, it's locked. And I don't think they need, you know, cards. They actually need keys. But I think that this one does need card, right? Fix the elevator. Yeah, I think we should be able to open this. Not really sure why not. It is not really sure why this is not really accepting the card. Okay, guys. Anyways. Okay, so this is the elevator. I think someone messed with this. It looks destroyed. I won't be able to fix this. I won't be able to fix this floor. The door is stuck. With the correct tool, I can try to force it open. All right. So we have got some, you know, few objectives. Fucking cunt. Where it is? Okay. Okay. Uh, now what was that password? I completely forgot it. Let's check it in the document. Red card password. We need 67352. 67352. This is okay. Not really sure what that sound is. That thumping sound. It is pretty annoying. And we don't even have map in this game, which makes it a bit more annoying. Another welcome door. So we have to put this every time six seven three five two six seven three five two maybe I think this is a different uh you know yeah because I think I'm entering the correct password that is a different you know lock six seven three five two yep we need to write a six letter code here instead of a five one. Hmm. 
Okay, I think we can use our camera here. No? Okay. I mean, those thumping sounds sounds like somebody's foot, you know, footsteps sounds. H8. What the fuck is H8? I think we need a key or something to open this area. H8. Okay, we can actually go further down. But before we do that... Okay... We need a password for that. <sighs> Dear administrator, here is the password for this locker. A-F-T-H-G-A. Remember, 6 equal to F. What the fuck? So, I mean, are they asking us to decode this thing using that? Okay, 6 is the... I mean, F is the 6th alphabet, right? Fix 6, yep. Then the password will be 164871, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not really sure if they are, you know, telling us password for this. What the fuck is this? Flashlight. Yeah, take that bitch. Press F. Okay, great. So before we go down there, I think the password was for this room. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I think the password is for this store because it was a seven digit password. Let's put a red card here and uh, it was AF, right? One, six. Uh, let's check. Announcement password. Six equal to F, so it was one F four eight seven one. I don't think I'm gonna remember it. It was one six four eight seven one. One six one six four eight seven one. Okay, even that is not working. All right. Then let's just... Then let's just, you know, go down. Oh, I think there are two locks over here, right? Mm. One. Six, four, and eight, seven, one. Eight, seven, one. Guys, <laughs> pistol, bullet, ammo, blue corridor, bathroom. Okay, we have got the WC keys. So we can now open the WC doors. But the thing is that we have got the pistol ammo. But we don't really have the fucking pistol. For fuck's sake, that stupid daddy bear. Bunny actually scared me for, for a bit. We cannot open that just yet. I think we can open these now. Okay, we cannot open this one. What about this one? WC. No. The objective is still fix the elevator. Uh, 
Huh. I think we are gonna take a look at that map because there's some light over here. I actually forgot that we had a torch, guys. Okay, so. What about this one? We still cannot use it? No. Okay. Question, question mark, question mark. I mean, we came across a lot of WC rooms, but now I can hardly find one. I think they were all over here. Yeah, but we are not, you know, it is not asking us to put some card or key over here. So I don't think that uh, we can actually open these doors via that WC card, which we got. F. Okay, cool. You know what? We are going to go one more section down. For fuck's sake, it looks scary over here. Upgrade atom points to be used in equipment improvement. Bitch, we don't even have a gun to improve. What are we gonna even improve here? Okay, I took several photos of accessible areas of the hotel, gathered some information on my investigation. Both taking. Talking to city dwellers, I found out that there is a myth about a girl who was murdered in the city. They say her angry spirit has terrorized the hotel ever since. Since its foundation, the city has suffered from mysterious disappearances from a coal mine accident to a famous investigator. Mystery of the menacing miners reports indicate a collapse which buried 20 miners. The family are waiting for the owner of the mine, Christopher, to make a statement. Okay, so Christopher is the owner of these mines. After a few days of staying at St. Denfina Hotel in the city of Trees, Trillis, private investigator Joe Lewis seem seemingly disappeared, causing countless rumors about his whereabouts. I only find stories about the stories from the past no new events or recent reports it seems that my source of information was not quite correct okay so we can actually you know go through all this stuff another day another day lost all information that stephanie told about told me about Apparitions and strange events seems like a lie. I don't, I didn't find anything to report, much less any evidence that something has already happened. In the end, after a week here, I can confidently say there's nothing to investigate. I was supposed to meet Stephanie tomorrow, but I'm not going to do that. I'd rather just go home at this point if this is what being a journalist, journalist is like. I should have chosen my second option. Things are getting stranger and stranger. A girl wearing a gas mask has appeared. I can't explain how or who this girl is. All I know is that I can't remember what happened in my room. Everything is turned upside down. My head hurts. Could this be this ghost girl they were talking so much about? Alrighty. The camera connects the worlds. There are things that I can only see through this lens. What kind of world is this anyway? The hotel is completely destroyed. I must have been unconscious for at least a few minutes, hours at most. But how could everything be like this in such a short time? Guys, because I think we went into the future one year. Where did everyone go? I feel lost, scared. But at the same time, I have to keep calm. Something very weird is happening here. I have to find out ex what that is. After all, that's what exactly why I came here, right? It's been over a year? What did 
what does Stephanie mean by that? First, she disappears, then the hotel is destroyed. Now she tells me that I have been here for a year. I don't understand. There's no way I could have been unconscious for that long and still be alive. I need to f get to the first floor to try to find answers. Alrighty. Yeah, guys. So looks like our character keeps on writing these. Fuck, for some reason I just pressed E and our character healed himself. I'm not really sure that that was even necessary. Improvements. Increases the distance of the night vision effect. Okay. I don't think we are gonna, you know, upgrade our bloody camera, guys. We are gonna... We are gonna save our improvements for gun once we get it what's these thumping sounds can we use our camera here to go past this no we cannot okay I don't really want to go that side because of those spiders and all that stuff. So we may as well, you know, search over here once more. I can see a handprint over there. So, you know, this might be the correct way. No. Okay, both of these are locked. Holy shit. What about this WC? Can we open this? We can, guys. So, I think that is where we have to go. But before we go there, we may as well... you know, search this area. Okay, so we are one floor down and, uh, you know, we have just crossed this area. You know, we have just went over here and we came this side of this floor. The elevator took a, the elevator took a while to break down, but it finally did. And now I'm stuck up here. I remember the other saying that there should be some extra parts located on the 5th and 6th service areas but there's no way I'm looting around this damn hotel by myself. Not after what I have seen. Okay. Shit. Looks like I have to find a way to fix this thing if I want to make it down to the first floor. <sighs> okay guys, so 5th and 6th. I think our, our room number was 610 so that means we are staying on the 6th floor and we actually have to go 5 floors down to the first one. That means there's a lot of grinding that we have to do. Okay, this is actually open. I think we can even go there, but before we go... Fucking hell. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, let's save it. I think it just says, uh, not really sure what this says, like save point or something, checkpoint. Okay, so it looks like this is a safe zone. Not this. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Let's combine them. 
cool back not really sure what this says let's use our camera 501 okay so we need bolt cutters here right okay so this has don't open dead inside okay so this has been bricked 501 is crossed so i think uh, something major is gonna happen in 501 but for now we already know where we have to go right to that area where there was a handprint on the wall Okay, we need to f find a blue card for this door to open. And we need bowl cutters, pistol bullet. What about this one? No. I thought that, you know, we can use our card to. I mean, these are not ropes, right? These are chains. Yep, so we cannot use our card to cut those. So now we have to find bolt cutters if we have to, you know, progress with these stories because both of these, this as well as this are, you know, blocked. Fucking hell. Okay, guys, so I think this is where we have to go now. I encountered some of these strange spiders around the hotel. Where could this have come from? They look dangerous. Best to stay away until I can defend myself. Okay. So it is asking us to not go into this direction just yet. Because we don't really have any weapons to kill them. You know what guys? Uh, it's already been a 90 minute video. So we are going to just uh, call it off. Here for this video. And uh, I'm going to do a bit of search you know offline so we don't have to waste our time anymore searching for some stuff and uh, then we are going to continue with the second part of the video guys so yep if you like the gameplay do like the videos and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content guys i'll see you in the next video bye